Hello. We are going to show you how American used to do their corn because putting not putting up corn. What? Putting up corn is because, what it's called. Because now not a lot of Americans do that. Yes. I want you to tell us a story from your childhood when everybody does it. <sighs> now when our mother did it. Your mother with uh, their friends? Uh-huh. And my friend, Mike Morton, our job when we were young was to do this. Except this is three bushels and we had to peel and this is called shucking corn. Uh-huh. We had to shuck 20 to 25 bushels so our mothers could put up their corn. So uh, and how long did you do that? It took hours and hours and hours. <laughs> and you hate it, I guess. Did you? You're going to have to bring the buckets in. I will. I will. Just a minute. And now you need to do it with this brush. Yep, it takes a silk off. Okay, thank you. Stuff. Okay, what we're doing is boiling, parboiling for five or six minutes. There's a corn, and yes, you could do this inside, but it's too hot to do it inside. So what, what kind of system do you have for that? Huh? What kind of system do you have for that? This one is propane tank. It is propane. Burners. Yeah. And this this stuff is specially for corn? No. <laughs> what? It's a, for deep frying turkeys. Deep frying turkeys? See the, oh. the turkey on that. Ah, okay. Fill this with oil. Oh my gosh. And, and the bigger ones. The great big ones, people down south do crawfish boils. <laughs> Pour enough crawfish for a family of six or seven. Uh huh. So how long time? About five, six minutes to boil? Yeah, something like that. After they're done par boiling. In the water. Okay, good and cold. Okay. Come in. And this hot one you go from outside to put it in the ice water. Okay. Here's, we're using what is called a bunt pan, like for making cake. And my wife is using a special little tool called a corn cob stripper and she puts it in there like that puts a little tool to keep her fingers from getting cut and strips the cobs and there you go and we need to press it and she presses it close to the cob done and then she's okay. done as a result 
27 quarts of sweet corn. <laughs> So it will go be into the freezer. Yes, and it will be enough for two years, oh, three years. Okay. Now we know where to get it <laughs> uh, every year. We can give it away to our friends, okay. family, or eat it. Thank you. Let's eat it. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.